Hey there, so I get asked by you guys a lot on how to use the AMD APU tuning utility and I always link it in the description of my videos. I link it to the GitHub for it. The GitHub actually has a lot of very, very useful information here on just letting you know what the program actually does. It can be very, very thorough. So if it's something where you really want to learn deep, deep, deep on how to use this, you can actually do that. They have a lot of info, but if you just go to the releases here, you can see the different releases that they have. Now, one thing to note is that the AMD APU tuning utility did go through a pretty major redesign relatively recently. This is what the old UI used to look like. Now, I have used both versions and I have actually found this newer version to work on some of the systems that I have that the old one didn't. Like the HP Pavilion Aero 13 actually works with this version and it does not work with the older version that can actually be different for you though so it will depend on your system and there are other things that i just need to clarify before we actually dive into how to use this for one it's not guaranteed to work modern cpus are very very difficult to work with in these types of situations just because of the fact that manufacturers have a lot of control over the actual power systems of these cpus so they can actually limit the amount of tdp that that they can use at a almost hardware level and the reason comes down to mostly the fact that it allows oems to actually cheap out on boards and things like that where they don't need to have boards that can have higher power delivery or anything like that if they just limit it to 15 watts and just hard limit it there they don't really need to put a robust board that could actually handle 30 to 40 to 50 watts or anything like that and in general it does allow manufacturers to make you know thin and light devices that use you know cpus that are supposed to be high higher tier but when you limit the tdp of those systems you can end up in a scenario where something like a 5600u or a 5625u which is a more modern cpu will perform worse than a 5500u that has a raised tdp so just because you have a newer cpu in a system it does not necessarily mean it is going to perform better than the old one the tdp can actually really affect performance but another caveat is of course the fact that this can damage your hardware you are raising the tdp to some that the manufacturer originally did not intend for you to do so there can be some unforeseen consequences in terms of damage to hardware if you're running it in temperatures that are completely out of spec compared to where the manufacturer thought it was going to be running at but outside of that if you monitor your temperatures if you keep an eye on all of that information you can actually squeeze out a very very decent amount of performance here and it is really easy to download you just go down here and you hit the windows download regular ui theme and you're pretty much going to be good to to go once you download that you just extract it you're going to be seeing a file that is the amd apu tuning utility file you go in there and you'll be good now if you have issues with the newest version you can always go down to the latest stable release of the old ui i have had this work on some systems that did not play nice with the newer version but for the most part this one really it's going to be a little hit and miss in terms of the hardware that it's going to work with but once you've downloaded it, you can open up the file where it's in and you'll see here that we have the AMD APU tuning utility .exe. And I would recommend that you run it as administrator. And once it's open, you'll see here that we're greeted with the welcome screen. None of this information is going to be relevant. Really, the amount of info that is in this is kind of limited in general. It is a work in progress and it's really not anything that you're going to have to dive too deep into because the only tab that we really care about is this one right here, the preset tab. Now here are the different presets that you can actually apply. And I think that this is where most people should just stick at. You really don't have to manually set any of your stuff unless you're going for very specific tuning. Now the find device preset here, I would recommend just not even bothering with this, at least as of right now, it has no relevancy because more than likely your system is not in the database. So it's kind of just there where it might be relevant two years from now, but for now it's not. These three right here are the ones that matter. And all you have to do is click on them and you'll see a little window on the corner that pops up and says that it has been applied and that's it. You're pretty much good to go. You have adjusted your TDP. Now on this system itself, I don't recommend using the battery saver preset unless you're going to be just browsing the web, maybe watching some YouTube and you want to extend your battery life a bit. But if you're going to be gaming, stick to the balance preset. And if you have a beefy enough cooling system on your computer, you can always go with the performance preset. But the balance preset sets a target of around 25 to 22 watts, and you should be good to go. But I would recommend going down here to the settings and also checking the auto reapply setting. 
The reason being is that the raising of the TDP will sometimes just be disabled for the most random things. I've had it just disabled from me tabbing out of a game. So having it just auto reapply just means that it is going to be able to keep the, the raised TDP at all times and you don't really need to worry about it just dropping off. But obviously now we want to actually verify what our TDP is like. And there are two ways to actually verify it. You can either use MSI Afterburner with the overlay set to show you the power, or you can use Hardware Info 64 to actually see what the package power of the system really is. So if we open up Hardware Info 64 here and we just run it with the sensors, you can actually see this screen here that will demonstrate to us a bunch of information. What we just want to scroll down to is down to the CPU section and it'll give us all of the different power settings for it really the ones to pay attention to are the cpu package power for the most part i would just stick to looking at that and that should tell you what it's actually going to be running at and another way to actually verify if this is working is to just use a program like cinebench and with running cinebench you can see that our package power actually ends up going all the way up to pretty much 25 watts. It will drop down from there just because the presets pretty much have a small boost window and then it'll start to just level off. But in general, at this point, we can verify that the TDP raise is actually fully applied. Now, again, it might not work for your system. Not all systems are going to work with the AMD APU tuning utility because of the fact that manufacturers have a lot of control over the power delivery systems of your hardware so if they pretty much just limit the the system at a hardware level there is pretty much no solution for this so it's one of those things where i would recommend just trying it and if it doesn't work for you more than likely it's just not going to work because it is very very easy to use so if it's not applying more than likely there is not going to be any way of getting it to work but in general you can see that the apu tuning utility is extremely extremely easy to use now so you just open it up hit whatever preset that you want to use and it should apply just make sure that you have the auto reapply enabled and you should be good to go and if it's not working then more than likely it's not going to work for your system we can only pray that a later update will actually enable it on your system similar to how with, with my arrow 13 i just did not think that i could raise the tdp at all until the newest version of the apu tuning utility actually enabled that but anyways i hope you found this useful and i, I just want to talk to you guys real quick about a few things because I, some of you guys might have noticed that the, the slowdown in uploads that has happened over the last couple of weeks it has mostly just been down to the fact that i have been redoing my entire setup here i want to streamline everything so that i can actually test out multiple systems at once without having to do a lot to swap out the testing area i want everything to be just more streamlined and specifically i want to actually be able to stream on this channel i want to just stream myself essentially trying out games on here live so that you guys can see the full raw experience of trying to use this system with certain games so the uploads might be a little slow still for the next couple of days as i finish getting everything set up here and up and running but once all of that is done we're pretty much just going to go back to going ham on just the videos so i want to thank you guys for being patient with me on that it has just been a lot more than i was actually anticipating it to be just because anytime you're like doing a, a major re like renovation of an area you end up running into a lot of issues where you didn't think about something there, there's something that like is now going to be affected that you did not think about earlier and you pretty much now need to buy more things or figure out a solution for it it has been just chaos but so far i'm actually really really happy with how everything is turning out so i'm really excited to actually just put all of this to use i want to thank you guys so much for your support and it's just been massive and it's what keeps me motivated there's a lot of games that i have now downloaded and bought that i am very excited to test out and videos are going to be coming out in the coming days and things should actually start to pick up again we're going to have multiple vi multiple videos out in a day i want to go back to the three videos a day just because i think it's a good amount the videos are usually short and thorough enough that i can get a lot of info for you guys out in there but i pretty much just wanted to update you guys on what was going on because you know there are some of you guys that have at this point been here for a very long time honestly that i'm, I'm blown away by it and i'm very much thankful for but i pretty much just want to say that i appreciate you watching i hope 
hope you found this useful i hope you found all the other videos useful and i'll catch you in the next one and i look forward to seeing you when i'm live here and I also i do plan on at some point starting to stream on twitch as well but i want the twitch streams to just be more chill where we kind of just hang out if you guys want to just talk ask questions you know we could talk about specific video games we could talk about you know anything i just want them to be way more chill streams than like what i plan on doing on youtube where it's going to be mostly just actually testing hardware and of course we're going to have discussion on there as well but the twitch i plan on just making it be a far more casual thing where if you guys just want to hang out and have a good time instead of just like you're kind of here to at least get some info out of it as well but anyways i will catch you in the next one